Tilly the aardvark usually draws a crowd when she takes a walk around Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium. But of course, these are unusual times. So, Mark, does it feel different these days? It does, for sure. Mark Heinzman is the zoological curator at the zoo's companion park, Northwest Trek, where crowds would usually gather at this time of year to see the caribou roam freely. Instead, a keeper and a moose are having this tug of war all by themselves. Both parks are posting videos and pictures on social media using the hashtag closed, but still caring. And we really just want people to know that even though we're not um, open to the public right now, our staff is still there every single day taking care of these animals. Um, zookeepers don't get to work from home, unfortunately, so they have to come in despite what's going on in the world and make sure our animals continue to receive amazing care. Both parks generate more than half their operating budget from ticket sales and memberships. But Mark says the animals will be the last to feel the effects of any budget constraints. The care that our animals receive is the top priority for the whole park for sure. We are all in an era of social distancing. This grizzly bear gets it, these lizards, not so much. Yeah, so you know, we try to let them know that they should stay six feet apart at all times, but sometimes they just don't read the memos, I guess. Our routines may be all messed up, but for the animals, not much has really changed. They still get fed, they still get enrichment to challenge their minds. And Tilly's long, lonely walk has finally drawn a crowd. Those walruses act like they've never seen an aardvark before. <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a strange uh, a strange surprise, isn't it? But uh, yeah, believe it or not, a lot of those animals don't often get to cross paths on a regular basis. And both parks hope you'll be crossing those paths sooner than later. From Evening, I'm St. Brian for King 5 News.